This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I apply an external texture map to a subtool and keep the existing materials? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the earthquake model here loaded in. Now the question is asking about importing in external texture maps and then applying them to a model, but retaining the existing material information. So as an example, let's just first go through the process that the user is doing. So with Earthquake here, I have polypainting applied to him. So if I come to the tool palette over here and turn on the paintbrush icon, you can see that he has RGB polypainting baked into his mesh here. Now he does not currently have any materials baked into his polypaint, only RGB values. So if I come over here and switch to a different material, you'll see these materials are going to update on the model. So this lets you know that Earthquake only has RGB values baked into his polypaint, and he doesn't have anything stored in the material channel of the polypaint information. So let's say I want to start storing some of these materials into the polypaint Earthquake. So with a material selected, I'm going to make sure at the top here I just have the M channel active, not MRGB and not RGB. Only one M, which is for the material channel. And now I'm going to go to the color option up here, and I'm just going to do a fill object. So this is going to take the material I've selected. Since I only have the M channel active, it's only going to fill the model with that material value. So now Earthquake has now totally been filled with the Skin Shade 4 material. So now if I come back over here and switch to another material, say like the Silver Foil Bright, you'll see that Earthquake is not going to change. This is because he currently has that Skin Shade 4 material applied to the vertices of his mesh. But now, since he has a material channel baked into his model, I can now start painting with other materials on the surface of the mesh. So I'm first going to come to the top here and turn off Z Add and make sure I still only have that M channel active. I have the Silver Foil Bright material as the selected material. And now if I come across Earthquake and simply click and drag, I'm now going to start filling the poly paint of Earthquake with that material channel. So with this, I can come through and give him some golden gloves here. I'm going to do that on both sides here. So paint both of his hands with this silver foil bright, which is giving this gold effect. And then let's zoom in and let's apply some to his face as well. So give him some sort of golden mask here. So something like this. And you can do this process with any materials inside a ZBrush. So I'm just applying a different material to Earthquake. So now let's say I'm happy with my material painting. But now looking at Earthquake a little bit more, maybe I want to modify his tattoo some. And instead of painting these inside a ZBrush, I want to use an external application. So first, Earthquake already has a set of UV coordinates applied to them, so I can take this polypaint information and transfer it to a texture map. So to do this, I'm going to go to the tool palette over here, and go all the way down to the bottom to the texture map area. I'm going to open this up, I'm going to open up the Create menu here, and I'm simply going to click New from Polypaint. So this is going to take the polypaint information that's on Earthquake and now transfer it to a texture map. And after I click this, you'll see I have a new texture map created that should contain the polypaint information on it. So now that I have this, I can now click Clone Texture, and this will now clone that texture to the Texture Map tab up here. And if I open this up, I can now make sure I have that texture map selected, and I can now export this out. And now I'm just going to save that map out. And now I'm going to open that map in an external application, so something like Photoshop. So here we have the map here in Photoshop. And let's say I go through and apply some effects to his tattoos here. So I give it some sort of cell shading type effect. So I've just modified the original texture. Now I want to save this out. So I'm just going to save this texture map out that I've modified inside of Photoshop. And now I'm going to go back over to ZBrush. And now I want to import that texture map in and then reapply it to Earthquake. So I'm going to go back up here to the texture map tab and open this up. I'm now going to click Import, and in here I'm going to select that modified texture there and open that up. Now that should appear here, and you'll see that it has changed, so it has that cell shading option. Now I'm going to go back over to the tool palette over here, and I just want to apply this texture map to Earthquake. So I'm going to go back to the texture map tab there, I'm going to click this, and I'm going to select that imported map that I just brought in, the one that I modified, and click that. And now you'll see this is going to happen. So any texture maps that you import into ZBrush are only going to bring in the RGB values. So there is no material channel that will be stored in an imported texture map. So you'll notice as this texture map applied, 
It currently is only being viewed as having the three RGB channels and it doesn't have a fourth material channel. So this is giving you the same effect that I was getting earlier on the model before I baked in any of those material values. So if I come over here and switch my mat cap to say skin shade four, you'll see that it's going to update across the entire model. So how can I apply this texture map that I've just modified inside the external application and apply it back to Earthquake, but get those original materials that I painted across the surface? So since those materials are still on the polypainted version, if I come over here and just toggle the texture map on and off, you'll see this is still the polypaint of Earthquake here, and then this is the texture map. So what I wanna do is I want to just transfer the RGB values on the texture map back to the polypaint version of Earthquake, but not transfer the material values. So this is gonna allow me to retain the material values that were already painted on the polypaint here, and then get the new RGB values from the texture map that I imported. So to do this, we just need to come to the top here and make sure we just have RGB turned on. So we don't wanna have MRGB turned on and we don't wanna have M turned on. We only wanna have RGB turned on. And then we need to make sure we have our texture map selected, and then we need to go to the polypaint area here and open this up. And in here we have a button called polypaint from texture. Now, since we only have the RGB value turned on, when we click polypaint from texture, it's gonna take the RGB values of this texture map and then apply it to the polypaint or the colorized information of Earthquake. So since we're only sending the RGB values, it's not gonna replace the material that's already been stored in the polypaint information. So by just clicking this, you'll see that the texture map has now been transferred to the polypaint of Earthquake. But since I only transferred the RGB values, you'll see the material values that were originally painted on the mesh have now been retained. So now I've successfully updated the texture map through that external application. I've imported it in, and now I've transferred the RGB values of the texture map back to Earthquake's polypaint, but I didn't replace the material values. So this way you'll be able to import a modified texture map from an external application and then just transfer those RGB values back to your mesh, retaining the original material one. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!